parapeak nails. So these, these next ones are signs of potentially life-threatening conditions. So please potentially, potentially I know somebody ways. who I know somebody who has carrot beak nails and it's just the way her nails are. There's nothing wrong. Um, it's, she, it's impossible for her to have acrylics because it will, those nails will pull the acrylic. And so it makes the acrylic just pop off. And so um, it can be a genetic shape of your nails and it yep. can also be indicative of another health condition. Yeah. So that would be something to check out and make sure that your doctor does all the blood work to make sure that you're fine. Yep. So same Love with all nails. of these, they could be okay, same. but yep. This um, is definitely most often a health issue. Yeah. Especially if it, it's not if you were born with it. Mm -hmm. If it suddenly starts to show up, like over the last six months, your nails are starting to get and your fingers start to look puffier and stuff, then uh, yeah, it's definitely time to go see the doctor. So, I mean, that's, and that kind of goes in with everything of just pay attention to your body and what's normal for you. And with any, anything, if anything suddenly changes or even begins to gradually change, take note of it. It's a message. It's something, it's like, that's an indication that the something is The good thing is, is that on. for the most part, you've got time. Yeah. I mean, your nails grow really slowly. So the fact that your doctor, you can't get in to see your doctor for three months, it's fine. It'll be okay. You may freak out a little bit, but just talk to us on yeah. the nail group. We'll, we'll give <laughs> talk you comfort. In the group, yes. Like we will give you your support. So spoon nails. This is really interesting. They are spoon nails, but if you look at these, these are incredibly dry. Mm -hmm. Incredibly dry. And look so at that. These Vertical nails split. actually would be helped with a hydration treatment. Um, but this person, so this is a great example of what would happen to your nails um, if the nail bed was not functioning properly and you were not getting the right blend of moisture and oil pushed through. Um, but the fact that you can see these, the spoon and it's still connected to mm -hmm. the finger, um, whether this one in particular is a health issue, I don't know. Um, for some people, it's just sort of the natural shape, just kind of like yours sort of lift yep. up a little bit. Yep. Um, so that's, this is definitely, if it starts to sh suddenly show up, when we say suddenly, that means like six months. Six months. Um, suddenly for nails, it's like nail yeah. time. Four to six yeah. months is, is the length that it takes to grow out. So yeah. it's, it's kind of like sending a Pony Express message instead of a, a text. Of right. your, your nails do Pony Express. Of if you have a health issue, you're going to see it Pony Express speed <laughs> four to six <laughs> months down the road by the time the message gets there instead exactly. of a, a, a text. Um, oh. And do weird things. All right, next one, Bose lines. Bose lines. These were uh, discovered by a gentleman, and his last name was Bo. Um, and basically, he realized that your nails, I mean, we're, our nails are always growing, but the speed at what they grow, depending on what's going on in your life, your health, your stress level, the, the cells can slow down, so your body's need to preserve itself and your core. Um, your nails can actually come to almost a grinding halt. And what happens is the cells all bunch together and you end up with this groove and the, the sides around it kind of bunched up. Mm -hmm. So, um, and as you can see with this person, it's growing out fine. There's no new lines back by the cuticle lines. That just means massive, either a massive stress, uh, physical or, um, or even emotional. I've got these, I've got these twice. I got one on each toenail, on a large toenail. I think it was the same one, but when our first child died, and then when my husband lost his job and he was the sole breadwinner. And so we started this business and it was incredibly stressful. Um, I also looked at it from the geeky side of, oh, wow, I have a marker. And so I found out exactly how long it takes my toenail to replace itself. <laughs> I just watched this one grow and it took an entire year. Oh, uh, it was, God. you know, me being geeky. <laughs> so again you're you this is a pony express message <laughs> yeah, exactly. and that one's usually no big deal um it's really it can be a big deal if it shows up on all of your nails 
uh, I would definitely get that checked out. Um, but if it shows up on just one, I wouldn't worry about it. Cool. Uh, then we have as a non-doctor. Right, totally. Uh, and we have pitting. So pitting. this is common with psoriasis. Yes. Apparently. And that can cause us, actually, you can kind of see it, the anicolysis. Mm -hmm. uh, the sides are lifting off the nail bed as well. So yep. that's just psoriasis. Is the, and you can have psoriasis in the nail plate and have no psoriasis on your skin. So, there are a lot of different types of psoriasis, I have learned. And the treatments vary depending on each different type. And, um, you know, it's, it's, this is an autoimmune type of thing. So it's, again, this is where, where if you can, I don't know. I address, don't know address your health, like take care of what you're eating, take supplements, visit your doctor, reduce stresses. And, and you know what? I get it. There are some situations like my life, most of the time, there are stress that I cannot change it's so no. you know and like that's this so this kind of leads us in to wrap this up of figure out what you can control and what you can't where are you in your season of life what region of your life are you in um you know it's like even if we talk about on and i were laughing about this when we were talking about it before we recorded of like you go from a teenager and everything's beautiful and firm and not saggy <laughs> <laughs> And then you have a couple kids and then that changes everything. So that's a different season in and of itself. And then your kids become teenagers and then you get all the gray hairs. Oh, and gosh. then right. like you continue to age and then women, we hit menopause and then you get the hot flashes and everything else that's going on. So yeah. it's important to have that mindset of flexibility of what's my normal right now and fully expect that that's going to change. We're also talking your about your nails. Yeah. Your nails are nails. never constant. Never, it's ever, like, ever. Oh, what they were like last year doesn't mean it's the same this year. It's like, sorry. Yep. And it's, you know, we talked about too, is like when your kids are toddlers, so sorry if you don't have kids, but you go, it's like, okay, I think I just figured everything out. I know their favorite food. We have the sleep routine. We have the favorite book. We do all of this. And then the very next day or the same afternoon, all of the things that worked gone. no longer work. So you got to start from scratch and figure that out all over again. So yep. it, it's when you have the mindset, and this is the quote that Anna made me make a slide of <laughs> the only thing constant in life is change. So yeah. when you are able to set that expectation in your brain of, well, the only thing I can depend on is change. It's going to change. And that's normal. And that's the normal change is normal. Of, right. Then you can look at it in a different way instead of feeling so frustrated of what is wrong with me. It's like, nothing's wrong. It's just changing. So just, just be okay with that. Be gentle with yourselves. It's, you know, if we don't change, we die. If we stop moving, we die and we are trying to stay alive. So <laughs> um, being okay with, with that variation in wherever you are in your life, whatever's going on, let it be okay. If things aren't okay and do what you can with what you've got. So yep. In summary, in thank summary. You if you've hung with us this long, um, <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations. You win a prize. I don't know what it win is. The but. summary slide. <laughs> uh, so put your nails in the greenhouse as much as you can. If you want to change the results, you need to control the environment and the conditions that your nails are exposed to. You want to pay attention to your habit loops. Mm -hmm. So the habit loops that helps you support taking care of things in the greenhouse. Like Anna said, it's like if you've got the white flies or something, you can still get an infestation in the greenhouse. You can have all sorts of other problems in the greenhouse. It's just a more controlled, you, you have the option and the ability to control a lot more things in that kind of environment. Exactly. It doesn't mean it's perfect. It no. just means that you're able to address things and see them quicker and take care of them in a different way. Exactly. Um, so that's the habit loops of, take your vitamins, drink extra water, eat healthy food, make those habit loops, you know, do what you can. Um, remember that all of the weird stuff that's happening, it's just a message. Sometimes it's Pony Express. Sometimes it's a text message, super fast, super exactly. slow. But most of the time your nails are going to give you Pony Express message. And most importantly, when in doubt, consult your physician. Yep. So Thank you for sticking with us through week three. Next week, we will be talking of like tying all of this stuff together and how it translates to 
nail art, which is exciting. And then that will lead us into the color theory course that's coming out, hopefully in September, if we get everything Please let me get this done. working. I know we've uh, talked about it a lot this spring and it got delayed because of the sale and the challenge and life and everything else. So again, look at us practicing being okay with things not being okay. With stress. Whatever right. s uh, season we're in, like, it's like, oh, hey, we are in, we have this idea this season. It's like, oh, well, we can't actually do that until fall, literally. Right. We were in spring and now we got to wait till fall. Right. So, uh, it will get there and um, yeah. it will be great. And so we hope that this has given you guys some insight and some helpful information to um, normalize where you are in your life right now and, you know. Have it be okay. And be okay. Be okay. We'll all be okay. All right. We'll see you all in the next week. And take Bye. care. Bye.